after a few years of screen hiatus, actress and screenwriter Stefanora Okere is back and this time on her own production. Join us as we go behind the director's camera for an express pass to the set of Rebecca Okere's upcoming movie. After earning her badge in acting, screen actress Steph Nora Okere is moving into the next phase as she produces her first feature-length movie titled For Better. Riding on the wave of the Bank of Industry Nolly Funds, Okere recruits top colleagues including Carlo Ikeago and Wave of the Moment Sonkele Idalema. Um, it's a story that showcases the struggles of the average African child, especially the Nigerian child a female child especially in the environment giving its constraints and the rest of it. I'm a typical Nigerian girl. I grew up here, I schooled here and I always tell people what has spurred me to write this script by the way I wrote the story. What has spurred me to write this is after I did a deep thinking about how even though my parents tried to give me the right education, supported me at every level of life, yet I had struggles, not to talk of people who are underprivileged, not to talk of girls who are underprivileged, that gave me the, um, the, the mind to go ahead and search. And in searching, I was able to find out, well, it's not easy. Carlo Ikeago acts opposite Sonkele. The pair who are working together for the first time appear to have struck a working synergy. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> the good reason is this. We, yours truly, clinched the deal. Uh, Oh, very, very comfortable, as you can see. <laughs> well, um, Soma is very, uh, this is the first time I'm working with her, but um, I think the first time I saw her was at AMVCA, yes. in passing, yes, in yes. passing when I congratulated her and then when we had the reading. But, um, you know, um, when we first started, I just kind of kept my distance to concentrate on, I don't like rushing into... He um, was scared. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get the feel, feel of it. And uh, she's turned out to be a very delightful uh, friend and um, very intelligent as well and very perceptive and um, talented as well. So it's quite comfortable working with her. It's almost effortless, you know, so, yeah. <clears throat> you see, the thing here is yours truly aged. The 2017 African Magic Viewers' Choice Award winning actress picked up the title character, a young music hopeful who has had to work extra hard to achieve her dreams because she was a female. I read the script um, a few months ago and I couldn't put it down. And like I keep telling everyone, I told him and I said, I've never called a producer before. And I called her, I was like, when are we doing this? You know, because after I read the script and it was just silence for a while, and I couldn't sleep, I was scratching, and my whole team was like, when are we doing this? So I said, you know what, you know what? okay, I'll give her a call. And that was when I knew I really liked it. I, I love a story of redemption. You know, there's always, everyone has a story, but it's just how you've gone through it. The end result is great, but the journey is always more interesting. And this character has a journey. So I was more than happy to be a part of it, especially at this time where entertainment in Nigeria is really blossoming. Calling the shot behind the camera is fast rising director Emma Edosio who's first handled the camera back in 2007. I read the script and I was really, you know, I was captivated by the strong characters in it. I mean, it's a story of strength, it's a story of hope. And it's every director's dream to, you know, make something that would inspire people. I think the first, that one, that was one of the things that caught me about this, this movie, this script, that the story of a, a lady growing to become stronger than who she is and I, I feel that that is every African woman or every woman's story and that was the most captivating thing for me about this movie.
for my experience as a director, I'm who I am because of the people who supported me. Um, I am who I'm, I am because of the, there were a lot of men who stood by me and they gave me a chance. Talking about people like Clarence Peters, people like, you know, big people in the industry gave me a chance and gave me the camera to hold. So when it, I, I feel Roberta's story for me as a director is, is a little bit different and I would approach it in the sense that, you know, you have a dream, you have something you want to become, you fight as hard as you can to be that, and that is the way that I relate to this character. <laughs> Roberta is expected to hit the cinemas later this year.